Hi and welcome to my channel. This is Lex Marie with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to look more put together. This is going to be my part two video that I did last year, but this is giving you a little bit more summer vibes right now. I actually wore this when I went to Puerto Rico, but you guys, we need, we, we needed this topic, right? We needed this topic. And I felt like it was so funny that as soon as I was gonna make another video for this, Monique came out talking about the whole bonnet debate and if you saw my last video I started off calling y'all out for wearing those bonnets. All right. I did I did And I still stand by it. All right. I still stand by it. So if you are trying to transition from your bonnet outside to the supermarket phase to looking delicious at any time of the day, every single time of the day, all day, every day, then this is the video for you. So before I get into this, make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to my channel. If you would like to see more content like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, make sure that you follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, and follow me on Twitter, at Lex Marie, so you can get all the same content at a touch of a finger. So after you do all those things, we're gonna hop right into these tips. All right, so before, you know, the haters start using their little Twitter fingers, the little YouTube fingers, if this video does not apply to you, if you do not want to work on being more put together, I suggest that you dip, all right? Because this is for the women that are serious about leveling, leveling up, serious about working on their femininity and just making sure that they're conducting themselves in a different way than they have been in the past. So if that's not, if that doesn't sound like you, no tea, no shade, but this is not, this is not where you need to be at, sis. <laughs> this is not where you need to reside. <laughs> so now that I've got that quick disclaimer out the way, we're gonna hop into the first tip, all right? The very first tip into looking more put together, looking more polished, is to find your go-to hairstyle. When I say go-to hairstyle, I'm talking about if your alarm is going off or you realize you ran out of sugar, what is your hairstyle gonna be when you leave the house? That is the style that I'm talking about. And I know I didn't give that many alternatives in my last video, so I'm giving you guys some alternatives now. Some of you might say, oh, well, I just put on a bonnet or I put on a headscarf or, you know, I just go out as is. Great. That's our starting point. But let's see if we can expand on that and grow on that to look a little bit more polished when we leave the house. So one thing that I will recommend that I have done videos on is headband wigs. This is like liquid gold. This is like the neck. This is like the best thing since sliced bread. I'm not even going to lie to you. Headband wigs are super easy to install. You don't even need to really install it. As long as your hair is pulled back and you got some edges, it takes two minutes. You put on the wig and then you leave. So I know I have one that is in like a natural um, texture. It, it literally looks like uh, 3C or um, 3B hair amazing uh also you can get them where it's like straight you can get them with different colors and also you can customize them with different headbands so if you are interested in getting a uh headband wig i will link them down below and also put them up there as well but i would say for us chocolate ladies us us black girls all right we can't we can't be choosing bonnet life all the time all right that, me, in my opinion, is a great alternative if your hair is in braids, already natural, etc. Because it is super easy. Who is that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said, who is that? Looking out my window. Mm. <laughs> but I feel like that is a wonderful alternative for us natural girls, braided up girls. Now, if your hair just looks busted, crusted, and disgusted, also, you can do head wraps. Head wraps are like those long wraps that people do with different African prints, regular prints, floral prints, whatever prints. And you can um, tie it and make somewhat like a design with the wrap before you go out. Some of them come like already pre-wrapped uh, and everything and you kind of put it on like a hat. So it really just depends. Um, but I know they do sell them in most beauty supply stores. So if you don't want to buy a headband wig, even though it's the best investment ever 
I would recommend to definitely look into getting head wrap. And last but not least is the messy bun or the, uh, the go-to synthetic wig, y'all. I had a wig that looked like a messy but cute style. So anytime I needed to go out, I just threw it on like a hat and left. And it looked, you know, it was still like a messy look, but it was a cute messy look, you know what I mean? So if you are looking for something like that, I would definitely recommend just getting an old synthetic wig that you have, wrapping it up, putting it in a bun, and kind of making it into somewhat of a style. But those are the three different alternatives I have for you ladies. So there's no reason to go out in a bonnet, all right? And the reason I'm so passionate about that is because it's sleepwear, y'all. This is, that's like the complete opposite of being put together, is to wear your pajamas outside. So that's, that's just my, oh, there he goes again. That's just my take on it. And I know everyone has different opinions, which is 100% okay, but me personally, if you're trying to look more polished, if you're trying to look more put together, we got three different, op uh, three different options for you to choose. <laughs> All right, so number two, this is the second tip on how to look more put together and polished, is to keep your nails and your skin clean. I don't care what no one says, but a girl that does not have glowy skin, you see I got my tan, right? You see I look more glowy? A girl that does not have glowy skin, a girl that has dull, flaky, crusty, disgusty skin, she just, I don't know, she just can't work something like a girl that, you know, is nice and moisturized and hydrated and all tan and looking great. I just don't, I don't see the comparison. So at least for me, something that I love to do, I go to Ulta, I get all the tree hut scrubs that I feel like will cater to my skin, whether it's the vitamin C, whether it's the mango scrub, whether it's the, the firming scrub, the all of those. I love to exfoliate like crazy. So in terms of my skin, I exfoliate probably two to three times a week. Uh, it really just depends on how I feel. I use those Epsom uh, bath salts or whatever. I use all of it, okay? all of it, my skin is going to be extra soft. And then on top of that, I like to moisturize. I do my cream and oil method every single time I get out the shower. And even um, even with my facial, my facial health, I have a skincare routine and I live by that skincare routine, okay? So all of that has to go in with how good you look, just even when you wake up in the morning because some people you can have on the nicest outfit, have the nicest hair, nicest makeup, but it won't look as beautiful if you're not taking care of your skin. Also, when it comes to your nails, baby, I will say this and I will keep saying it, I don't care. I don't care, y'all can make fun of me, but the only reason why I say something about extra long nails where it's like right here is because I know they break. And I've seen people like have conversations and the five of their nails are gone. An alternative, ladies, you know, you still get them long, still get them long. You know, I like to have mine an appropriate length, um, at least for what I do with my work. But make sure that you're keeping up with your nails, all right? And I know sometimes this is maybe three weeks for some people or every two weeks, it really just depends. But make sure that you keep up with your nails. Like right about now, I'm due for a fill-in, but because I'm going somewhere soon, I'm like waiting a little bit longer before I get my fill-in. But if you just can't do the whole fill-in process, go back every three to four weeks or two to three weeks, just get press on nails. Just get press on nails. And let me tell you something. If you go to the uh, nail salon and you just get a regular no polish manicure or pedicure, you can do that. And then you can do your polish and um, your polish on your toes and your hands at home. In my personal opinion, if you are trying to be budget friendly, that just makes the most sense. Um, so you can just put on the polish and call it a day. But if you really want to be fancy, I would say to try press on nails. I love press on nails, especially when I'm in, in, in and out of the hospital. So like if I want to, you know, switch up my nails for the weekend, I'll put on press on nails and then I'll take them off before I go back to work. So that's just what I like to do personally. But yeah, like I just, I don't know. I love, I love, I just love when my nails compliment my outfit. And if you've seen like girls that get like 
um, different designs on their nails and it kind of clashes with their fit. That's always like my pet peeve, at least for me. I like to have nails that kind of complement whatever season it is or whatever um, like colors that I wear the most. So most of the time that's white or nudes or uh, even soft pinks. I love those colors. All right, so number three. Number three in terms of how to look more put together, how to look more polished, is to wear clothes that fit your body type. And this is gonna be sensitive for some people because I know everyone's, oh, wear what you want, wear what you want. But then the same people that say that, when it's time to go on Instagram, ooh, why she wear that? Ooh, that's not it. Ooh, this looks crazy on her. Da -da 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 -da. Listen, if you're trying to avoid people doing that to your pictures, understand how your body is shaped understand how your body curves understand what parts you need to hug and what parts you need to let free you need to learn and explore your own body so at least how i did it i studied women that had similar body types to me and i would go on pinterest which is the best thing ever i'll go on pinterest and i would look at fits that i like um my personal style i kind of don't have one like I just like to wear whatever, I don't know, it's just whatever goes with my flow. So um, I look for different uh, styles of clothing, I guess, that complement my body rather than going for a set style like, ooh, edgy or ooh, this, ooh, that. I'm more like, hmm, A-line skirts or pencil skirts. You know what I mean? Like that type of di di differentiation. So. I would say a great way to look more put together is to find clothes that actually fit your body and accentuate the curves and um, flatter your body the most. So if you are someone that is tall and very, very slim, model, okay, model sis, then you need to show those legs. You need to you need to work with those legs and you need to find things that complement your legs or if your torso is longer, complement your torso. If you are a woman that is more top heavy, ladies, you better work it. You better work this whole area. This area right here is your friend. I don't care what anyone says. This area right here is your friend if you have larger breasts, just in my opinion. And girls that are more bottom heavy, Wear things that kind of cinch you in and then kind of show that curve at the bottom. Like, that's how you do it. You don't want to wear frumpy, oversized clothes, especially with the top heavy girls, because you know when we wear uh, uh, oversized shirts and we look like we're six months pregnant? We can't keep doing that. And I, and I want to go for that whole uh, streetwear look where they have the oversized. I can't even do it because I look pregnant. I look preggered. So just try to find clothes that complement your body type, all right? Whatever that means to you, if you are apple, pear shape, hourglass, triangle, rectangle, find what works for your body shape, okay? Not every Fashion Nova model is your body shape, all right? No see, no shade. So I would say make sure that you explore that. You can do that on Pinterest or you can do that by just, you know, playing around in the uh, dressing room in department stores. That's also what I do too, just to see what works and what doesn't. All right, ladies. So the fourth thing to do if you want to look more feminine and put together, you got to trust the the less is more saying. And I will keep saying this, all right? Because once I started this, once I, once I started doing less, I started to see more of a of a difference you feel me when i felt like i had to keep doing the most to look pretty it just it looked tacky it looked corny it just looked like what are you doing like why you have that print with this print with this print with that print girl just keep it simple and keep it pushing so that includes jewelry all right i'm not saying don't wear any jewelry but you know some girls that have like 30 chains on, on their necklace and then like one big cuban link let's let's lighten it all right let's try to lighten it maybe just have one necklace or maybe have a studs with a nice necklace you know don't you don't have to do studs a uh, necklace and uh rings and a bracelet like just try to figure out what combinations work best for you me personally i like to pair a nice chunky bracelet with some soft earrings or i like to do a, a simple necklace with simple earrings um it really just depends um but as i've gotten older i've become more of like a like the stud type girl 
I only really wear hoops if you can see my actual like ears. I don't wear hoops if you don't see my ears. And even then, like sometimes I wanna wear even bigger studs. That's just in my opinion. I just feel like it works better. And when I hug people now and stuff, it just gets on my nerves when like they, they hit my ear and it's like pulling. So in my opinion, I feel like everyone needs some good diamond earrings, all right? And a good diamond necklace. You can get the cubic zirconia, whatever it's called if you need to, but do what you gotta do. I feel like everyone needs a simple necklace and a simple pair of earrings and to get it in like gold or sterling silver um, in terms of like the chains and stuff. So I think those things can just tie in an outfit beautifully. Also, if you like to wear nose jewelry, uh, ear cuffs, things like that, just little things that you can add into your um, your repertoire and just like play around with them. Don't have them all on your face at once, but play around them, play around with them as you go along. But I will say when it comes to your clothing, bare minimum is the absolute best. And the reason I'm saying this, okay, there's this one person on Instagram, I think her name is Tiana or Tiana. She is G Herbo's uh, girlfriend or baby mama, I don't know. The way she dresses every single time, every single time, every single time, it just hits. And she does the bare minimum. Her face is always beat to the gods though. Don't get me wrong. Her face is always beat to the gods. And then like her fit is just like, it just, it, she don't even gotta do nothing, all right? And that's just how I'm trying to be, like where I could literally put on a paper bag and it's like, wow, like she really is, you know, she's doing the thing. That's how I'm trying to get, but her hair, always done makeup always done i feel like that's what i feel like that's what it is it's the it's the hair and makeup always being done for me the lashes being done and her nails and then she just wears a simple solid color fit knows what works for her body and i'm just like yes this is what i'm talking about even lori harvey not her style but her makeup just like less is so much more it looks so effortless it looks natural people even think that's her natural face i'm like y'all like she has makeup on like but because you don't put on a lot sometimes people will think that that's how you actually look so um i would say for number four just try to find something where like it's in between doing nothing and doing the most like try to find it where you still look like a baddie but like just where you you know you look like a baddie but you're not doing too much you know you want it to look effortless that's the key okay so number five and i already hinted this at already but is to find your personal style and i know for me if anyone knows me i could go out one day looking like you know streetwear and then the next day i can go out looking like um like a barbie or i can do the whole um chic look i just switch it up i really i don't like to um confine myself to one style because if i like it i love it if i love it i'm gonna wear it so me personally i have a pinterest just of different styles that i like different aesthetics i like different aesthetics for different feels that i have so um my overall i guess my biggest aesthetic is just the basic you know, white tee, white tee and jeans type girl with a cute jacket. That's just me. That's my basic aesthetic. But every now and then I like to switch it up um, and do more classy looks or girly looks, things of that sort. But if you are someone that like, okay, I want to find one look for myself, then I would say get a Pinterest, boo. Get a Pinterest because you're not gonna know where to start. You're not gonna have any clothing ideas. Get a Pinterest and look up things based on your interest on there and put it into a folder, pin it in a folder, do what you gotta do. I'm telling you, it will help you so much. At least in my experience, I feel like my clothing and my, you know, my clothing game has kind of stepped up a little bit because of Pinterest. I would say I'm still kind of, I'm not basic, but like I don't do the most, you feel me? So I'm like kind of in the middle when it comes to my looks but yeah i would say number five is to really dive and figure out what your style is and to build on your style the sixth way to look more put together and polished is to find a go-to makeup routine 
develop a go-to makeup routine that you can kind of get done in like 20 minutes, all right? And I'm just saying that because you never know where you gotta go. If you develop a go-to makeup routine that is not only fast, but it enhances, doesn't change, it enhances the beauty that you already have, I'm telling you, you're going to be dangerous. Anything you put on, like I said, the girl uh, Tayana, you're gonna be dangerous. You're going to be a dangerous chick. If you could go out in sweatpants and sneakers with a big face, right? Gorgeous hair, gorgeous hair, and get away with it, that's how you know this, you don't even need to watch the rest of the video. You already look to put together. You already look done. You look like you're ready to conquer the world. That's how you want to look. So make sure that you're finding um, different makeup videos like mine that is all about enhancing the beauty that you already have rather than changing your beauty to look like someone else's. I've always been a person that's like, you know, pro makeup, pro no makeup, whatever. I just do what makes you happy. But when it comes to my makeup, I love to just enhance what I already have going on <laughs> and last but not least if you're trying to look more polished and put together master the white top and jean combo that's all i'm going to say you need to master how to style a white top and jeans i mean that, that that's all you got to do that's all you got to do and when i'm talking about styling i'm talking about are you going to put a knot in the the shirt are you gonna wear accessories? What shoes are you gonna wear? Can you do you know how to dress up a white tee and jeans? Do you know how to dress down a white tee and jeans? What outerwear would you wear with it? You know, what glasses would you wear with it? If you know how to style and if you practice styling the white blue jean combo, you're set. You're set. Because if you can make that look polished, you've won. If you can make that look edgy, you've won. All right, um, me personally, that is like my favorite go-to. I am the girl that loves blue jeans. I love a good pair of jeans and I like wearing a nice cute top with it, preferably white in my opinion. I just like white. And I always feel like I can style that so easy because it's like a blank canvas. So if you do want to practice how to style that type of outfit, whether it's with hats, scarves, um, your shoes or whatever, that is where you want to begin, at least in my opinion, on how to be more put together, how to look more polished, especially on this femininity journey. So hopefully all of that was helpful and that you found some of these tips interesting. Let me know which tip stood out to you the most and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.